Hello, beautiful family of Sussex Squad. How are you all doing? I trust that each and every single one of you is doing great and you're happy. And how's it going over there? I'm hoping that all is well. And thank you for joining us again on this episode of Brion Squadies. And today we've got some very, very wonderful news. And it's that Meghan and Harry's daughter, Princess Lilibet Diana, has been christened in intimate California ceremony. What wonderful news. And if you can just allow me to read from the people, it says that as grandchildren of the monarch, Archie and Lilibet are afforded the titles of prince and princess. And I'm just so happy to finally hear this. And one thing that I don't understand is the backlash on social media. Why are people so angry that Princess Lilibet Diana gets to finally be called Princess and Archie gets to finally be called Prince? They actually have a right to this. It's their birthright. So why are people so angry at this? It's the same way that Harry gets to be called Prince Harry because he's entitled to that. You can't change that. He was born into royalty and that title is his birthright. So there's no way that anyone can change that. So people getting angry just makes me really, really confused. And one thing that I see most of them saying is that Prince Harry said that he hated the royal family and that he doesn't want anything to do with them. But that's a lie. Prince Harry never said anything like that. In fact, he still wants to reconcile with his family. And he didn't say that he wants nothing to do with his family. And again, this wasn't Prince Harry's decision. This is something that has been in the monarchy for a very long time. Being given the titles of prince and princess is just a birthright to people in the royal family. So this wasn't Prince Harry's decision. So some people should just get over this. And so this article continues to say that people exclusively confirms that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex held a christening for their daughter last Friday in a small and intimate ceremony at their home in Montecito, California. When reached by people, a spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said, I can confirm that Princess Lilibet Diana was christened on Friday March 3rd by Archbishop of Los Angeles, the Reverend John Taylor. And it continues to say that, according to the source, Meghan 41 and Harry 38 extended an invite to King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William and Kate Middleton, but they were not in attendance. At least Prince Harry invited them so that these people can not continue saying that Harry wants nothing to do with his family. So you can see where the hate is coming from and it's not from Harry. It's clearly from these other members of the royal family because clearly they turned down Harry's invitation. And again, King Charles is showing that he wants nothing to do with his grandchildren. That he can't even attend a christening of his own grandchild. This is very, very bad. And I don't know how he feels right now after saying that Archie and Lilibet Diana should earn their titles. I don't know the situation of King Charles right now. I bet that he's very mad after these titles have been given to Archie and Lilibet. And truly, Meghan and Harry are just amazing human beings. At least they're better than me because I'd never invite such members of my family. People who have humiliated me, people who never protected me and my family when we needed them the most. I'd never even want to associate with them in my life. But Harry and Meghan are so much better people. And the article continues to say that after their grandfather became monarch following the death of Queen Elizabeth last September, Archie, who's three, and Lilibeth were afforded the titles of prince and princess under rules set out by King George V in 1917. People understand that the palace will update their website to reflect Archie and Lily's titles, which are currently listed as 
Master Archie Mountbatten Winsor and Miss Lilibet Mountbatten Winsor. Hopefully they are going to update this and it's not just words because we're just tired of words being said and action not being taken. So we just hope that this is actually going to be implemented. And it continues, an insider tells people there are between 20 to 30 guests at Friday intimate gathering, including Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, uh, Lilibet's godfather, Tyler Perry, and an unnamed godmother. Following the ceremony, attendees were treated to an afternoon of food and dancing, with Archie enjoying a dance with his little sister. That's so adorable. Archie having a dance with little bit diana that's so adorable i just wish i could have seen like a video of this this could have melted my heart and as you all remember last week taylor perry was spotted arriving in montecito uh, ahead of the christening he flew in for the ceremony from his home in atlanta with a 10 person gospel choir that sang oh happy day and this little light of mine a song that was played at megan and harry's wedding I can't imagine the scenes at Lilibet Diana's christening ceremony. It just looks like it was such an amazing time. These people must have had a really good time at Lilibet's christening. And it continues, in an exclusive interview with People, that is in January, Prince Harry spoke of his wish for his children to have a meaningful relationship with the royal family. And it's very true, I think I even remember that interview. So Harry doesn't want his children to actually be like very far from the members of the royal family because they're still his, their family. So he tries to make sure that they, they have a meaningful relationship. But it seems like people or members of the royal family don't want that. They don't want anything to do with these two children. And it's very sad to see people not wanting their own blood, like people not wanting children just because they are biracial it's a very sad thing to see and one thing that actually saddens me very very much is that i just can't imagine when these children grow up that is archie and lilibet and see all these hatred that they were accorded when they were young they see all this seclusion by the other members of the royal family that they were never even protected from all this racism it will be very, very bad for these children to actually grow up and see such kind of things. And the fact that these other members even don't put in any effort to actually show that they care about these kids is what makes it even worse. And in the interview with People, Harry actually said that, I've said before that I've wanted a family, not an institution. So of course, I'd love nothing more than for our children to have relationships with members of my family and they do with some which brings me great joy harry and megan are just amazing human beings i think they are willing to see beyond the flaws of people and actually see the good in them but it seems like there's no good that I, that can actually be seen within some members of the royal family and in this article it also says that harry also opened up about his children's special visit with their great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth before her death in the memoir. And I quote, I could not stop picturing them with Granny. The final visit. Archie making deep, chivalrous bows. This baby sister, Lilibet cuddling the monarch's shins. Sweetest children, Granny said, sounding bemused. She'd expected them to be a bit more American, I think. Meaning, in her, in her mind, more rambunctious, Harry wrote. It continues, in December, Tyler Perry revealed that he is godfather to Lilibet, who was born on June 4, 2021, in, in Santa Barbara, California. The filmmaker recalled in his final episode on the Netflix docuseries, Harry and Meghan, that the couple asked him to accept the role in, in 2021 after Lily was born. And all I can say is that Harry and Meghan could not have chosen a better godfather for Lilibet because Tyler Perry has been so helpful to them from the start. He's always shown that he's willing to help Harry and Meghan whenever. 
especially that day when their own families had forsaken them is when Tyler Perry came to their rescue. If it were not for Tyler Perry, then I don't know what would have happened to Harry and Meghan. So I'm saying that Harry and Meghan could not have chosen a better person than Tyler Perry. He is indeed an amazing human being. So may God just bless Tyler Perry more and more each and every single day. And some of the people's reaction actually are on Twitter. I'm just going to read some of them. One person was like, I like the Sussexes say that Charles, Camilla, William and Kate were invited and they didn't attend. So when they will not go to the effort coronation, I don't want to hear any complaints from the island. And that's very true. At least Harry and Meghan invited them and they didn't attend. So if Harry and Meghan don't actually go to that coronation, which I'm hoping they don't go, let no one from the royal family or the Armenian tabloid media actually complain about that. Someone else said that Princess Lilibet Diana is super adorable. She is highly blessed. And I cannot agree with her more. She is truly blessed. The fact that she holds Diana's name, an incredible human being who changed a lot of people's lives, the people's princess. That's enough reason that that this Lilibet Diana is truly blessed. And someone else was like, I don't want to see Charles complain Archie and Lily aren't in his life when he can't even be bothered to go to his own granddaughter's christening. What a disgusting grandfather he is. For sure, if he can't even create time to go to his granddaughter's christening, then what does this say about this kind of person? So he can't complain that these children aren't actually in his life when he can't even create time to be with them. It seems like he has so much time to be with Camilla's grandchildren instead. But when it comes to his own grandchildren, he has no time. And someone else say that this is excellent news. Meghan and Harry have a great supportive community in California. The kids are flourishing. All that crazy holpa in UK media about Princess Lilibet's christening. Meghan and Harry doing their things privately. Love it. The obsession will now be on who's the godmother. I know that's very, very true because very soon the UK media will start having all these investigations to know who's Lilibet's godmother. These people are so obsessed with Harry and Meghan. And thank God, Harry and Meghan actually did this in private. If they'd actually posted any, any of these, what would the British media say that Harry and Meghan are attention seekers? So thank God they actually did this in private. And someone else was like, all the people who are present are the most important in, Liz, in Lilibet, Diana's and Sussex's lives. That is the only thing that matters. Happy for them. And it's very true. I think that those who are in attendance are the only people who have actually shown that they actually love and care for these kids. So the fact that these other members of the royal family didn't attend is still good news because they have actually shown their true colors over time. They have shown that they don't care about these two kids. And someone else was like, Charles, William, Kate are beyond disappointing. She's a toddler for the love of everything sacred. And it's really, really annoying. Like, if you really have a grudge with someone, you don't hold a grudge against their own children. Because these children have done nothing to you. So why are you holding grudges? This will look really bad, as I said, when Lilibet and Archie grow up and see how they were treated. This will really look bad. And I don't know if they'll ever want a relationship with these other members of the royal family. And someone else was like, congratulations to Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex on christening of their little light Princess Lilibet Diana. This little light of mine. Princess Lilibet, Prince Archie, hashtag Harry and Meghan, Doria, may God bless and protect you and your family. And that's what we say each and every single day. May God protect Harry and Meghan and their kids. And may God so much bless this little girl that she may grow up and be an amazing human being. So yeah, up to there, what do you think about um, this christening of Lilibet Diana? What do you think about it? 
I just see it as though it was an amazing event. So what do you think about it? Let me know your opinions and I'll see you all on the next podcast. Have a great, great day wherever you are, squaddies. Goodbye.